Really? You see me filming here. Hey, are you tired of subscription services? Netflix, Amazon, Disney, grocery stores, X, Y, and Z? And do you have a blink camera system? Here is my blink camera right here. It's part of the system. Well, I'm gonna show you today how to avoid that $10 a month if you have three of these cameras. Very simple, doesn't cost very much to do it. Takes a little time, but I'm gonna show you how. Y'all stay with me. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well today. Let's get to it. So subscription services. So you got all your streaming stuff. You got your Netflix, Disney, Amazon, you know, all that mess. You got software subscriptions, your video editing software, your Microsoft 365, um, all your Adobe suites. Everything is subscription. Uh, all the stuff you see on, uh, on the internet now, all the food services that you can get, you know, HelloFresh and all that stuff vitamins, pharmaceuticals, groceries, it can all be a subscription service. And if you sit and count all that up like we did, holy cow. So one thing that I don't want to have to subscribe to is another thing from Amazon. It's our Blink cameras. And Blink is a subsidiary of Amazon or it's one of their products. For three cameras, it's $10 a month. And I just don't feel that I need that when you can see the the video clips that happen you can get a notification on your phone or tablet or computer and you can just pop over and look at the clips if you have something called local storage so local storage and i'll show you on the phone here well let me let me just show you on the uh, unit itself so on the unit itself this is the blink sync module and if y'all want to watch the unboxing and setup of the Blink system, I'll link it above us. Over here, I think. So this is the Blink Sync module. You have your power adapter, your USB cable, and the module itself. And on the side, right here, is a USB drive. And that is a 64 gig USB drive and it lets it do local storage and you can watch the clips from your phone or tablet or you can pull this out put it in your computer and uh, look at them there so i'm going to show you how to do that so y'all stay with me and i'm going to get the phone up here and we'll we'll show you what it's doing all right, let's switch over to my screen and I'll show you my phone screen and we'll, we'll look and see how to make this work. All right, so here we are. Let me open up my phone here. So this is the Blink application on your on iPhone. I'm sure it looks pretty close to this on the um, Android phone. See, so I'm sitting here with my mouse trying to make it work. So I have my three cameras then you got all your settings on the camera and then you have the sync module the sync module is what I just had in my hand and you can see it's online local storage what it does your Wi-Fi network well local storage you can go right here excuse me and if you don't have a subscription you can come here and save your clips and you can either watch them on here or you can safe eject USB and put them on your computer. To view the clips on the USB drive, and by the way, I'll have everything listed in the description. Uh, one of the things you can have from a one gigabyte to a 256 gigabyte USB drive plugged into the sync module. Those are the those are what you can have. So now if I go to down here, you have the home clips and settings and you have your arm to disarm. Now the only way you can get notifications and watch clips if the camera's armed or the system's armed. So I'm gonna go into clips 
if you have a cloud plan you can look at your cloud which right now I'm in a trial but right here you can see all your clips and these are the ones I just did a minute ago and I triggered it and you can watch the clip now you can watch it from your phone if you're within a trial if when the trial ends you actually have to pull the, the card out and or the USB drive out and watch it so that's how that works so let's go ahead and eject the card so I'm gonna go down here to my sync module I'm gonna go to my local storage scroll the bottom and I'm gonna safe eject it tells you safe eject because you can corrupt the uh, data let me grab it here so here's here's the drive at 64 gigs all right so it found the drive go to it here this will be my H drive my blink folder and what's today the 10th and it, it stores them as mp4 files and they're very small files 184 kilobit now you can make it to where you can keep up to a minute I think I've got mine set at default so I'm gonna watch it with the media player And that was it. Now that was just a clip. Let's go yesterday. Um, something triggered my back door. So, so that's how that works. And all you have to do is eject your USB drive from your computer. Now if it's full, you can go ahead and format it. It formats EXFAT. I'm going to eject it. And it's just that fast. And the way I've got mine set, 64 gigs lasts a long time. Anyway, I'm saving $10 a month. Works pretty good. And here's what it looks like when you get a notification on your phone and it's saving to the USB drive. So we'll check this out. And that's all it is. It just, you get a notification, it writes to the drive, and then you can do whatever you want to do. So there you have it, local storage with the Blink cameras. Um, so far, works pretty good. When my trial ends, um, so what I had to do, I had to remove the sync module and put it back and it put me back on a little trial plan, but I'm not having to pay any money for it. So that's a good thing. And I'm trying to get them, uh, get the blink cameras working with home assistant. So that'll be one of the next videos coming up if I can get it, if I can get it going. So but anyway, if you got any comments or questions if you're doing this with your blink cameras let me know down there in the comment section so that's about it for today so if you like this video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that bell be notified had some really good comments here lately um can't thank you enough for that i've been trying to answer everyone and uh that's about it i hope everybody's doing well i hope you're having a good week and like i always say until the next video thanks for watching